ASMR that bad boy. I'm on leave. So I'm on annual leave now, which means I've been watching a lot of movies. And what better way to make some content than to share what I've been doing? And I came up across this idea on these tier lists where uh, people discuss, like, you know, you get a random set of movies and uh, you rate them. So this is just a random tier list I found on the internet, and I want to go through movie by movie. I haven't seen every single movie here, but I think it's going to be a good video. Let's switch over. Boom. So movie tier lists. This is a, a Twitter one made by some dude on Twitter. Film Twitter faves tier list. It's up there. Uh, it's got some movies on there. I've seen, you know, a good amount of these, I, I think. We will find out. Anyway. Let's go through it one by one. So the ones I haven't seen, I'm going to chuck them in the bottom category. Then you have pure. Oh, better change that actually real quick. All right. Get rid of that. Overrated. All right. Let's go through it. Let's get started. Atonement. Haven't seen it. Let's get into here. Gone Girl. Gone Girl's a great movie. It is solid, solid movie. Solid. Uh, I enjoyed it. And the twist was so weird. Like, it was probably one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Like, uh, I remember watching it. And I was like, man, this guy's like crazy. Like, there's going to be some twist that he's like some murderer. But, uh, yeah, you find out like, holy crap. <laughs> this, this chick's crazy. You know, it's, uh, we're checking that so good category. Inception. This is like a really really like heavily discussed movies i think after i watched this movie uh five even five years after even until now i'd say i'm still watching like uh fan theories and theories like you know whether he's still in a dream or he's alive or dead or whatever it is i really enjoyed that um but the thing I didn't like is like there's just so many plot holes. Like there's so many holes in the story. Like there's certain things that just don't make sense. Like I like I've seen it like three or four times now. I'm just like pff, don't know where it is. So yeah, it's not it's not goat status, but it's it is so good. Interstellar. It's another one. Like I've watched like a million theories about it. It's good. It's like it's really long. It's a good movie. Like uh, you know nothing nothing super wrong about it. I think, uh, again, it just has some holes in it. That you're just like, but why would they do that? Like, why Why was this a solution there? But I did really enjoy the fact that when uh, when he goes into that planet, like 30 years past, like, you know, these, like, time time warps and stuff like that. It's crazy. Yeah, it's going on the so good knockout, though. Lady Bird. I watched it. Mm. It's all right. Nothing great. It's like... Uh, I don't. I, the, the the best thing about this movie was this actress's name. It's uh, I can't even say it. Let's uh let's quickly have a stop and see how to pronounce her name. So it's uh, Cisha or Sersha in the American pronunciation. It's not. Uh, this movie is like uh, I just feel it's such an uneventful movie. People rate it. I don't. Nothing really happens. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just uh, it's all right. Parasite. This uh, this director is quite possibly one of my favorite directors of all time. Bong Joon Ho is like one of the best directors ever. My God, this movie! I mean, like, I I, I watched it. I think like a year and a half ago. I'm just waiting for enough time to pass so I can watch it again, and it still feel like you know it's like a fresh wash. Watch fresh wash. Yeah, it's a fresh watch. <laughs> my god like uh everything in this movie and like i love all the little subtleties uh bong joon ho like uh he doesn't release that many movies a year or that many movies ever it takes him so long but when he releases something it's just a masterpiece goat status tenet again it's in this category it's in those categories of uh <laughs> what is going on <laughs> literally i watch this movie and i have no idea like, like, I had to watch so much explanations, like, how the hell, like, 
what is happening like why is that flipping like yeah the entropy is reversed and it hasn't happened but it could be affected and like people are like unfighting to you the fighting it's chaos this whole movie is chaos this is one of the few theories i've watched in the end and i'm like yeah like i didn't get it like i still don't understand you know as much as i watch i'm like yeah that makes sense and then you watch i'm like but wait what about this and then it's like you know you you listen to all those theories where it's like you know the whole movie is actually one big temporal pincer yeah no it's, it's chaos it is in the so good but again it's just the, the, like the little plot holes a little like missing parts is what gets me like uh, that's why it's in the so good not goat dead poet society yeah it's good pretty good movie um you get some really good like movie clips out of it uh I enjoyed it. I, I preferred Goodwill Hunting more. It's all right. Virgin Soup garbage. Haven't seen that. Almost famous. Overrated. Pure Keshta. Almost a like pure Keshta. I hated the movie. I watched it when I was really young. Then I watched it again when I was older and just absolutely hated it. Nothing. Nothing. Like I don't know. I I didn't find there was like anything like noteworthy on that movie. I hated like that whole era anyway. So yeah. Zero out of ten. Next, Little Woman. Oh, this movie, is fire! Absolute banger of a movie. Like, you know, like the journey of the movie, the love story. Oh man, it's like, and, and it all works out in the end. You know, like uh, you, you get all the nice little themes in there. You get a little bit of death. You get a bit of like, you know, you know, you feel a little bit of empowerment. You see like people like the good character development and all that. 10 out of 10. That's a great movie. It's going in the so good category. <laughs> Booksmart. I feel like I have actually seen this movie. I watched it on a plane and I fell asleep in like 10 or 15 minutes in. Yeah. Garbage. Punch Drunk Love. No, haven't seen it. <laughs> Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah. Overrated movie. I, of this whole movie, I think I liked one scene where, like, the guys find out he's colorblind. I thought that was, like, pretty funny. And then the last scene when they're, like, dancing on the stage. But apart from that, I just hated, like, I hated the roles all the characters played, you know? Like, I, I liked the, char the actors individually, but inside this movie was just crap. Hated it. Eighth grade. Haven't seen it. Coraline. Haven't seen it. The Arrival, haven't seen it. Lion, haven't seen it. Jojo Rabbit, uh, directed by Taika Waititi. Directed by Taika Waititi. It's good. I really enjoyed it. I like I like the take of like, you know, he's like a little German kid who has like, you know, who sees Hitler and, you know, uh, that's, that's just, like the whole thing's crazy. Uh, it's actually so so funny even even until like the very very end where you kind of get like a perspective of, like you know german youth like you know being recruited at the end of this war like the little actors are like actually so funny yeah it's 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 really good up here lost in the translation again one of those movies yeah i think it is overrated but it's like you know it is bill murray at the same time it's it, it's like it has a, such a little cult following but yeah, it's all right. Nothing uh, like it, it just has cult status, you know. <sighs> Once upon a time in Hollywood. Overrated. And I'll tell you why. This movie drags on for hours without much happening. Like the whole, uh, I don't know, like uh, Quentin Tarantino, I think. Was it Quentin Tarantino? Maybe. I'm gonna go out and like say this because people generally hate it, hate this opinion. Like you're not allowed to have this opinion about him, but uh, yeah, like uh, Quentin Tarantino's movies are just super weird. They're very very strange. Like uh, the the plots like don't usually match with history on purpose. And I and for me personally, I like half his movies, and I dislike half his movies. Like half of them, like wow, that was just amazing. Another half are like, ah, that's just. It was kind of average. This movie gets, uh, you know, it's not overrated. Although, 
for me like i don't overrate it people are, like i think people overrate this movie but what i really do enjoy is like the little subtleties especially when the guy like you know counting uh, you know how many of something he wants like that's a little subtlety that's given away there's like the three little like english finger thing like that and that like gives away the whole movie like you know i love movies little subtleties like that and that's in it so yeah it's all right mid 90s haven't seen it good time haven't seen it fantastic mr fox emily uh i have seen this i can't remember it it's i don't want to do it injustice because my sister does love this movie that's gonna go in the it's all right category american honey donnie darko i watched this movie after a recommendation by when it was recommended by uh, some girl in my high school and i remember watching it and i just felt like utter confusion but at the same time i remember i was entertained the entire movie like i was entertained the whole way through i really liked it i was like this is good but at the end you're just like whoa this is <laughs> like whoever directed is like he's done some he's done more than just recreational drugs so it gets in the it's all right category Baby Driver, overrated, not that good, didn't like the movie, didn't like the actor, like, I like, again, it's one of those movies, I like all the actors individually, you put them all together, blows. Scott Pilgrim, it's a, it's a cult following movie. Scott Pilgrim, I feel like uh, every time I watch it again, I seem to enjoy it more than the first time, so yeah. Uh, it gets in the so good category and it like tanked in the box office as well, which is crazy lobster haven't seen it Edward Scissorhands It's like a it's a good 90s movie honestly, it is a good 90s movie Or is it 2000? I don't know. It is a good movie though. I, I enjoyed it So good <laughs> Twilight <sighs> I mean, I don't, I don't not watch, I don't not watch Twilight every year. Come on, Twilight was like, it's it's impeccable, like, it is like I'm I'm being dead serious about this. What a great series of movies, Twilight taught love to a to every like you know thirteen to eighteen year old girl in that era. Goat status, ten out of ten. And I watch it every year with my with my wife, so you know, amazing. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Knives out. So good. Like uh this was one of my favorite murder mysteries movies ever because the movie starts off with a murder, so you are sure that he's dead. Which like uh, amazing. Again, so good. Like uh, the way the characters develop and like the twist in the end. And I actually kind of realized the end, like they're all actually like not that good. They're all kind of, you know, pretty greedy for the money. But yeah, whatever. It's a good movie. Mamma Mia, overrated. I don't care what people say, what people think. Mamma Mia is overrated. Ugh, man, I hate, I like, I just hate, I hate musicals. And it's like a musical. Haven't seen that. <laughs> oh, Midsommar. Wow. <sighs> Midsommar is up there. Midsommar. <laughs> like, this movie just wraps up in a way where you're just like, what? I, I, I watched Midsommar and I was, I watched it with my friend and my wife and at the end, we were just like, what the fuck? What the hell just happened here? This is chaos. Oh, an unclouded one. <laughs> <laughs> the unclouded one oh, the unclouded one like you know uh, like if I if I actually understood you know what the hell happened at the end with their like crazy ass rituals like this would be goat but uh, it only gets so good 1917 I liked it the, the filming was good like my favorite thing about the whole movie was like how it filmed like uh, like it looked like it was just one take following the guy along like wow you know, like, uh, it didn't feel like it dragged on. It felt like a really nice adventure. <sighs> I was terrifying at times. 10 out of 10. That is getting on the uh, so good category. 
Prisoners. I can't remember it. I think I've seen it. I, I don't want to give it a rating. Uncut Gems. Yeah. Very, very entertaining movie. Uh, I just hated the character. Like, I hated the actor. Like, I did hate him. Like, I love the actor. I hated the character he played. Yeah. Like, uh, his character just tilted me. It's all right. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Overrated movie. Seen it, hated it. It wasn't enjoyable. Like, just dragged. It just dragged on. I don't know what that is. Shutter Island. All right, category. Nothing. Uh, like, the twist. At the, like, you know there's a twist. Like, you know there's a twist in the end. But the movie just wasn't entertaining. Like, it was a very good movie like uh, well done i just like the entertainment value you know like you, you you weren't you didn't feel like you were drawn in by like everything else leonardo DiCaprio does this one was it was a good movie i just didn't feel like you know i just felt it, it just took too long brokeback mountain uh garbage overrated movie garbage not interesting pulp fiction this is gonna be like uh, a big uh, big hate it's all right it's not it's not more than all right it's just not like uh everyone says it's like one of the best movies ever made um a lot of people say that just so they can like uh you know fit in with the people who say it is one of the best movies ever made it's not it really like i i, I don't think it's one of the best movies ever made it is a good movie uh it has some great scenes some great clips but overall it's like it, it kind of drags on that genre, uh, you know, that whole genre or this style of movie was just like, it's it's very Tarantino. Dark Knight. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. All the, this whole series of Dark Knight, best Batman ever made. He is the best Batman. Goat, greatest of all time. He is the best Batman. I don't care what people think, what you say, everything. You don't know what you're talking about. Christian Bale is the greatest Batman ever. Anyone else coming after him is just a second Batman. Uh, Christian Bale is the best Batman, followed by George Clooney. Everyone knows that. George Clooney is the second best Batman. Kill Bill Volume 1. So good. This is, see, this is like, uh, when people say, I don't like Tarantino. I do like Tarantino. I just don't like most of his movies. Kill Bill is very, very good. It's an excellent movie. One and two were amazing. The, the they were both great i love like the over the top blood i love like the how quickly people get killed like all like the limbs like how insane the fights were amazing 10 out of 10 pride and the prejudice i don't even know i want to i want to say it's goat i want to say it's goat status but it's like a it's so so good like the only reason it's not ghost uh, i don't even know why it's not like i couldn't tell you like i just the way the way it wraps up maybe you know i i enjoy that either no I, I don't know why it's not good i just i just don't I, there's something missing in it that doesn't make it the greatest love story of all time but in terms of love stories amazing wow like uh you know mr darcy nailed the character elizabeth wow you know, like the, the family, how they're portrayed. Wow, it's just so good. Everything in it is done well. The movie takes some time, but you get good development out of it. And, uh, you know, like even his like little quote, you have bewitched me body, body and soul. Oh, man. You know, uh, you can't complain about that. You, you, there's no comments about this. This is at least, at least a 9 out of 10, you know. Before Midnight, haven't seen it. I, Tonya, haven't seen it. The Godfather 1. Uh, this is automatically one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, if you don't think The Godfather is one of the greatest movies of all time, um, you probably shouldn't do like any sort of film reviews or anything like that or just look at movies. There's, I, I don't know how people would not enjoy The Godfather. It, it, ha it, was, like, it was long, but you didn't feel it. Uh, there was good character development. There's good like idiosyncrasies in it. Francis Ford Coppola is amazing. Wow. There will be blood. So good. Um, what's that actor called? Daniel Day Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis 
in this movie, first of all, Danny DeLewis has more range than any other actor known to mankind. He can play more people than anyone else. But Daniel Day-Lewis in in that movie, wow. He, like, I remember watching it for the first time, and I remember going to bed feeling uncomfortable. Like, like you know, you, you just feel like, you feel like a guy, this guy could, like, curb stomp you, and he only has, like, one leg in this movie, or, like, he has, like, a stump leg. The other one's, like, a bit, you know, a bit funky. He has one full functioning leg. Amazing. Daniel Day-Lewis crushed it. Before Sunset, haven't seen it. American Psycho, yeah, it's up there. Great movie, amazing movie. This is very, very, very good. Um, the twist at the end is like you don't, you you start thinking like, is he crazy? Well, he is actually crazy, but uh, you know, was it all in his head? You don't even know anymore. Like it just seems like it was. Yeah. His act, Christian Bale again. Like, I think Christian Bale is like an underrated actor, honestly. Really, really underrated actor. Nice guys, haven't seen it, don't want to watch it. Whiplash, no. Boyhood, no. Don't know what that is. I have this movie, I haven't seen it yet. Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't deserve more than that. The original is better. Blade Runner, the original, amazing. This one, eh. Fight Club. Um, yeah. One of the greatest movies of all time. I, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how you could fault this movie. The first time I watched it, the first time I watched it, I literally didn't see it coming. And then you watch it again, and then you're like, whoa. I, you don't appreciate how good the movie is this, until the second time. Once you watch the movie a second time through, you are, like, you're shocked at, like, how good the acting is. Like, how good, like, all the little things actually do happen how he if his acting changes like there's a whole bunch of little subtleties throughout the whole movie you notice right after you watch it the second time the first time you don't you don't pick up on anything he does that it's like two of them but yeah wow god's own country haven't seen it her yeah overrated i don't know why people like it black swan it's all right the ending i hate the ending just hated the ending acting was good everything was good uh, there was a R-rated scene on there, uh, and I actually did watch this movie the first time with my mother, which made for some very uncomfortable viewing. But yeah, it was good. Uh, the Social Network. Uh, yeah, it's alright. It's a good movie it's like i wouldn't watch it again like it was a good movie like i did enjoy it i watch only clips of this movie now Oksha, i haven't seen it yet yeah i know it's like great a uh, great director i haven't seen it yet get out yeah this was uh so good that isn't so good carry <laughs> it is actually so good this movie though and uh you know like I especially I recommend if you've seen this movie is watch like the watch like the director like answer questions on like GQ magazine or something like that he answered or Vogue or something like that I can't remember what he's answering questions about it and one guy brings up a question about black mold and like his reaction is just priceless it's very very funny I recommend you watch it 10 things I hate about you one of my favorite movies of all time goat status straight away uh all the actors are amazing. They did a very good job. Uh, it is like a rendition of The Taming of the Shrew by Shakespeare. I think so. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch of Shakespearean quotes in it and stuff like that. Uh, Heath Ledger. Oh. And when he sings, when he sings. Wow. Dreamboat. 10 out of 10. 7. This was one of the most like... Uh, <sighs> This uh, that actor Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, first of all, terrifies me, and like just regularly, he scares me. Uh, in Seven, he's terrifying. He is a terrifying, terrifying human. Uh, especially the ending. Wow. You, you you really do like it. Handmaiden, haven't seen it. Haven't seen this. Nightcrawler, haven't seen it. Haven't seen this. Taxi, so good. Taxi driver, very taxi driver. Sorry, I said taxi. It's very, very good. Uh, we not. I think you're not used to seeing Robert De Niro that young. 
Haven't seen Chu Kong Express. Haven't seen that. This I'm going to leave to the end because I'm actually watching it tonight. Uh, but people do say it's amazing. Grand Budapest. Ready or not. In the so good category. I love movies that have like game nights and like someone's running away and there's murders and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Like it's a high quality movie and it's in there. It deserves to be there. Joker. It's all right. Again, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to say this because everyone thinks it and no one wants to say it. They need to stop remaking Batman and Joker and all this stuff. They need to stop remaking these movies. Like, it's, it's, we're beating it like a dead horse. There's so many other like DC comic book heroes you can do. There's so much like, like this whole movie felt like a big thing to like mental health, which is like, you know, is the Joker really like, uh, you know, like, is that really the best thing you can do for, for mental health? I, I just didn't like it. I, I, it's unfair to say I didn't like it. I liked it. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I, it's a Joker. Like, again, Heath Ledger's Joker was better. Like, and it's, oh, it's supposed to be like different universe, supposed to be different. No, I am still a big believer that anything that was done by Christian Bale uh, in all his bat and his three Batman movies they should just retire that character now that's it because nothing's going to beat christian bale doing those movies you can remake them beat them you can bring whoever you want but like nothing's going to beat him he just did such a good job he crushed it even heath ledger crushed it it was just too good and they got the perfect balance between like you know like uh it was a perfect balance between make believe and like powers and reality you know, it, 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 it got that balance very, very good. Snowpiercer, Bong Joon-ho. One of the greatest movies of all time. Chaos, chaos movie. Um, there's a very interesting fan theory I think everyone should know about is that Snowpiercer is actually a sequel to Willy or to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And this is fact. Watch a fan theory and then tell me it's not. Okay? Don't don't sit here thing like I'm crazy. It's watch the fan theory and then tell me no, it's not. It, it 100% is, okay? Snowpiercer is a sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Done. Emma, haven't seen it. My wife's seen it. I'm not going to watch it. Honey boy, haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen this. The Master, I haven't seen that. <sighs> comes the lucky last one the Truman show and this one gets it's in the so good category I feel this movie is like uh, it relates to you on so many different levels throughout different phases of your life I watched it first when I was very very young and I didn't really understand why it'd be so weird why would he even want to leave this world you know like why would he ever want to leave you know, it seems like he has everything he needs. And then I grew up and I realized like how constricting that would be, like how much of a prison you're in. And yeah, so like every every few years when I watch it and I'm a bit older, I'm a bit wiser, I'd hope this movie relates to me on a different level. So yeah, and now we've done it all apart from Grand Budapest. I'll uh, put something out separate for that to see where I put that. But yeah, I think this is a fairly fair list, a fairly good list fairly well organized some people are not, not going to agree with it uh these movies who cares really come on no i don't think everyone's seen every single one of these movies i probably should have watched i Tonya, and i probably have should have seen nice guys before but no these are what i've seen these are how i rate them 10 out of 10 i did quite enjoy making this video today hope we can make some more like this let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make something else like this or something else i can put on a tier list i do enjoy making these tier lists i do enjoy the movies we can do one for tv shows even all right so i'll catch you all on the next one peace my shirt is ripped